gonna become your enemy. Because you need to become your enemy to fight your enemy. <laughs> to become your enemy. I'm very hexed and disheveled. I had a great idea. <laughs> Beer first and then teaching. to preserve my innocence as I realized through my experience that I must preserve my innocence but I still live and experience that's only getting worse you know? the world is a very horrible scary place you read the Cleopatra or somebody you just would run away there is a lovely tower a depiction of a girl just running away from the world a bronze woman running away from the world. I've got a great idea to worry about. I'll apologize, you know. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Hey. So, in preserving my innocence, you know what I mean? As best as I can preserve my innocence. It's to become experienced. It's balance of knowledge of experience balancing the knowledge and experience and dealing well with what you know but I don't want to know but I have a guy I have a guy his name's Luke you know he, he'll um, he'll be able to deal with all the stuff that I don't want to know about Vengeance is a weird one, you know. Um, vengeance is a weird one. Uh, yeah, so take your time to think about it, you know. Vengeance. I will hack off all your family's limbs and I'll spread your bones throughout the lands. And I will chop off the dicks of all your firstborn sons. And, uh, you know, yeah. You give it a thought, you know, you have to give it a thought. I'm trying to preserve my innocence, like I said, but you have to give it a thought, you know what I mean? Um, hmm. So I see a lot of these Rockefellers and these kind of people that live by these weird methods and methodologies and by the abstract of these methodologies that I've witnessed that they live by. I can only assume that somebody told them to live by these virtues and moralities to destroy themselves as if a self-condemning mockery but then they even you know, they keep them breeding and they keep them breeding and they even clone them for self-mockery and you know self-destruction because you know they kind of call it sometimes, I don't know if they're misnomers, they are misnomers. Every trick in the book. And this refers to like events in the Bible, making every trick in the book. I know, trust me, <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> like my friend is a doctor. <laughs> a janitor, so. It's every mistake in the book. So you can, it's every mistake in the book making every mistake in the book but it has an effect and because they're terrible scientists it has an effect and they think they might be progressing or something you know what I mean but they're making every mistake in the book and it has an effect that's why it's in the book and it's bound in leather because it's every mistake in the book and it's just people in America to call like the bible the book of initiations and you make all these mistakes you start off by swatting a fly and then you deny your something or you, you know, snowball, you basically snowball stupidly into oblivion, but someone basically, blatantly to me anyway, from studying their moralities, told these people how to condemn themselves, condemn themselves, you know, so, I don't know how it is, it's, 
I'm fairly sure in some weird masterminded complex situation that they are a load of traitor Jews that went to America. That's they got caught up by like real Judaism in the world afterwards or something. Nothing to do with America or Judaism. These are just abstract things and it's just bouncing a bit. <laughs> and because they were tr not traitorous, but like Saul like, you know, Saul like King Saul like. Or, you know, they were killing their, the Israelites to preserve themselves. So you thought they had a royal lineage. And they were like Rockefellers, basically. And they were preserving themselves and killing off everybody else. This Bible is full of this. <laughs> I don't mean to say that. It's very modest, you know. But it has happened. And I would talk about this way. Dealing with lineage. I, I'm a very, very humble person, but I would have trouble by building an empire, you know what I mean? Fucking empire and some little orchid flower grew up in the back hours of the shittiest estate in the world and claimed to own everything as well. You know what I mean? I might have. And I'd probably I'd <laughs> probably give him a job playing a harp. So, yeah, they're tricked into condemning themselves. Because they do the most terrible, messed up things. Every mistake, every trick in the book. They seem to do every trick in the book. As if it's routine. And at the same time, our call. What does my mother have to say? It's a good call story. Pray to the Satan. It was like a harsh critic. You know, a very harsh, um, a very harsh, <coughs> not really teaching. You know what I mean? Depends how good your sainthood is in your world, or your stability is. Depend on your quality of sitness and, um, it's a wonderful, you know. It'll come to a time where it's very, could be very terrible. Mm. Infant-minded idiots. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't talk about these times, you know, like you don't pause your mouth. Sin, sin, it's not a bad thing, man, you know what I mean? Cross my fingers. I harmonize on my guitar, on my chords, and on my like, effects, I do lots of harmony. This is all variations of sin. Sin, sin, you know, sin. Fruit. Lot of sin. You are the embodiment. I mean, if you knew about the big boy book, you'd know sin, like, you, what you call sin, like, um, just about ten grades of, like, you know, profanity and offence, and the very least of them is sinfulness. The very least of them is sinfulness. The kingdom is the very least of these, not just sin. It's not that big a deal. There's, Nine to one more times mercy for predicaments of sin than there is for other things which I'll never tell you about. Because <laughs> you just do them, wouldn't you, rock and roll? You just go ahead and do them. They had this thing in Rock on, in, rock on, in Miami, in Florida, when they think they're, we're at 100%, and we're at, we're at 90%, and sometimes they were 400%. And they, I just wonder what they meant by we're at 100%. They do stuff, and stuff has a percentage, and it is qualified by a decimal percentage. And said, you not qualify the matter, you just have arbitrary events. You kill a kid, or you kill a goat, or you kill a thing, and you arbitrarily quantify it by a decimal system. So they're all like, we're at 100%, we're at, we're at 120% in this. I didn't realize it, but it says angelic attention. As you kill a kid, angels all, oh my god, they'll show up and they're like, oh, how terrible, and angels all show up, you know. And you realize it's very much like attention seeking. So these stupid 
This is sodomistic, like super sodomistic. This is meta sodomistic. Rockefeller draft. So you do everything, you know what I mean? Mad magazine, they go out of their way to do everything to see what has an effect. And they're only quantifying it by a decimal quantity with no quality. And it's like, what are you even measuring? It's like, you're achieving. It's like, it was just angelic or holy attention. So you could do something really good, you know what I mean? You could bring home the shopping for your mom and you'd have angelic attention and just you know, monster zinc, you know? And you could have a lot of angelic and you carry the shopping home for your mom and some Mikael or some Hadijin angel like your spirit, you guys do. You could murder 12 children on an altar and say a prayer backwards. And it'll cause a lot of attention. You know what I mean? Attention seeking. It's a terrible thing, but they think they're at their, we're at 400%. We're at 4,000. You know, gypsy sodomites. <laughs> Gas chambers are humble for these fuckers. Oh. Well, you're only as effective as the enemy that you know. And I'm just letting you know it's about Rockefellers and Mandibers in Miami and Florida. And these people that like a court, like poetry in the Bible, that spread your children's bones all over all your land. This is basically the thing. It's a dream. Massively teleological poetry that was spoken in the Bible. Yep. Children will be spread all over the bones of the world by the time this is complete. Because he's warning him. By the time you finish this, your children will be scattered all over the land. And then when people like kill loads of kids, chop them up and sprinkle their bones all over the lands of the world. Because they think they're... <laughs> <laughs> Poets, you know. I love Indonesia. You know, Indonesia. Hold her. I don't know why I'm gonna finish on this. But Nietzsche, 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 Nietzsche. Is there one second? I'm in German. <coughs> I wouldn't mind learning to speak German and Chinese. But I'm like stone cutters. Nietzsche. Nietzsche, 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 what are you doing out here in the cold? What are you doing? And she collapsed on a donkey being, a dead donkey being whipped unnecessarily so. And cried upon a donkey.